welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I am creating four eye looks with the palette in my collection that I am madly in love with and have been waiting for for a very long time. And uh, I know I just did a collab video with Steph with this palette, but I'm so excited to delve back into this palette and do some more really fun things with it. That's my hope anyway. So there will be four looks coming with the Saints Angel Centers Cosmetics and Not Your Basic Stuff, Steph's Pure Palette. Hmm. Now I had such a wonderful time creating the look that I did with my collab with Steph or for my collab with Steph. So to delve back into this palette, I'm just over out of my mind, as you can see. So I, I think what I'm going to do is a couple of looks where I'm using several shades and then a couple of looks where I'm just using a couple shades to show you that you can do maybe more intricate looks or, or I don't know if I ever do intricate looks but looks that where you can put more shades together. And then you can also do very simple looks. The cool thing about this palette, I mean, there's many cool things about this palette, but one of the coolest things is this row down here of these multi-chrome shimmer shades that you can use by themselves, or you can use them as topper shimmers over the mattes. And that's what I'm gonna do in a couple of the looks. They're just so stunning and so unique and flippy and oh, it's gonna be really fun. So in this look today, what I'm gonna be using is this shade here called Rock. It's this beautiful black matte and Rock symbolizes Dave, who is Steph's boyfriend uh, because he is her rock, definitely. And then we have Coco here, which I think I'm gonna use to maybe blend that out just a little bit. Uh, then I'm also gonna use Saint, this beautiful like lavender matte. And then for the shimmer shades, I think I'm gonna use I think I might use Vamp and Red Night and then Purple Rain. I thought that would be really fun. It's kind of like the burgundies, purples, black, you know, that sort of thing on my lids today. So let's get started. I do have my brows done and this eyelid is primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm going to start off with Rock and I'm going to put that in my outer V area. And I am pretty tired this morning. Um... Not to go into a ton of detail, but my dad is actually in the hospital right now. Uh, he has been having some pretty severe uh, breathing issues lately. And my dad has COPD and emphysema and, you know, a couple other things that are going on for him. And he just is not breathing very well. And um, I was out of town over the weekend. And uh, this started like, I don't know, last week. And... When I was out of town, you know, I called him a couple times and it was obvious that he was not feeling well and that he was having issues breathing. And then, of course, I felt awful that I'd gone out of town. But when I left to go out of town, he seemed like he was doing OK, you know. So, of course, you know, I'm just panicking because I'm two hours away. I was visiting my daughter and my grandson and my son-in-law. Um, but I just kind of kept bugging him like, Dad, you need to go to the hospital. You need to go to the hospital. You need to go to the emergency room. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. So uh, then yesterday at work, uh, I got a text from him right as I was getting ready to start my lunch break. And he said, um, I'm going to the emergency room. I'm going to drive myself. And I said, no, dad, you're going to hang, you know, stop. Well, I called him actually. He was texting. I called him. I said, no, we're going to hang up and you're going to call the ambulance. And the ambulance is going to take you to the hospital because I don't think you should be driving. Because uh, he was telling me that his oxygen level had dropped from like 94 down to like, 86, 87, something like that. And that's not good. So uh, he did call the ambulance, thank goodness. And they came and got him and took him to the hospital. And, you know, he's had some breathing treatments and they're just, they admitted him and they're going to keep him for a couple of days and try to get his oxygen level back up again. They, they want it to get up to 99. So that's, you know, I don't know how long that will take, but I'm just glad that he's where he is right now because that's exactly where he should be. And this is a stunning black matte, as I knew it would be. And it's extremely pigmented, but I feel like it's applying well. And, you know, the edge of that is blending pretty well. I do have some fallout, but I don't care. So now I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. I know it looks weird, but now I'm going to go into cocoa and put that kind of like around the edge here and kind of bring it down into that area. So, you know, I, I was not going to film this morning. I just thought, no, I'm not going to film. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the brush. I don't want to have it too much at first, just to kind of see what I can do here. Um... But I, you know, it's it's good for me to have something to kind of focus on, take my mind off things. And filming usually does that for me. Not always, but usually. And I just felt like this would be good for me to just, you know, sit down and put a eye look together and chat 
to you guys. I would say with you guys, but uh, at this point, we're not really chatting with each other. We will in the comment section, but you know, in this in this moment in time, I'm chatting at you. Uh, it's just scary. It's really scary when you have an elderly parent that, uh, you know, lives, he lives on his own because he really wants to maintain his uh, independence, which I'm you know very supportive of. And I, you know, I also know that someday I, I could be that age too. And I don't want my independence taken away from me. But you kind of almost become your parent's parent, you know. And that's that's a tricky role, very tricky role, because, you know, they still see themselves as the parent, which he is my parent, you know, obviously. But he also needs some serious help with things. And sometimes he fights that or gets very stubborn about the help. And that's really hard for me to deal with sometimes because he can be, you know, difficult to handle. So, you know, I just try to remind myself that this is where he's at in his life and that I need to be respectful of that too. And my husband's very good about reminding me of, you know, kind of the situation here and that I need to be tender to that. And I am tender to that, very tender. But, you know, he, my dad can be hard to deal with sometimes. Uh, you know, God bless him, but he can be hard to deal with. I love how that blended. That blended so easily. I mean, I might need to do a little bit more blending eventually, but for now, I think that looks really good. So now I'm going to do is put Saint, this beautiful lavender mat, just right here towards the front of the transition area. And I need to find a brush. The really wonderful thing, the really wonderful thing here is that I have so many awesome, caring, and supportive friends that I can reach out to when I'm dealing with this kind of stuff that are just gifts in my life, truly just treasures in my life. It's so wonderful to have that. And, uh, you know, there's been several people that have been there for me over the past 24 hours and longer and, and more than that. I mean, that's not true. They've been here for me for a long time, but it's just, you know, when you, when the chips are down and you really need a friend, um, I have that in my life, uh, several times over and it just makes me feel really good that I have that kind of support and you know it's always too very important for me to provide that same support right back so you know it's just it's great and all of these people have come from YouTube you know it's it's just it's really awesome to know that like I have such awesome people in my life from an avenue that I you know just didn't really anticipate having that necessarily you know I mean I, I was hoping I'd make friends here yeah of course but to have like these really significant and tender, precious bonds in my life with people, it's pretty fun. It's, it's really special. Just it's it blows my mind. Absolutely. So I'm going to go back in with this brush, nothing additional on it, and just kind of make those two shades look like they're supposed to be together here if I can. Okay, so now for the shimmers. I'm going to start off with Vamp. This is a beautiful kind of black and this color, like these two colors together, like satin shade. And then I'm going to put Red Night down next to that and then Purple Rain towards the front of the lid. And Purple Rain is Steph's like one of her favorite movies, soundtracks. She is madly in love with Prince and has been since I think Purple Rain came out, maybe even before that. So again, starting off with Vamp. I may have mentioned this before in another video, but I, I think I did. Uh, Steph convinced her daughter, Kira, that Prince was her dad. So funny. Uh, I can't remember for sure how old Kira was. She's pretty little, like maybe four, three, four, five, something like that. But yeah, she convinced Kira that Prince was her dad. I think that is so damn funny. When they told me that, we were on a video call and, and Steph and Kira were telling me that. I laughed so hard. I'm like, that is priceless. That is so funny. So funny. <laughs> And I think Kara, like, really believed that Prince was her dad. You know, wouldn't that be the coolest? Prince being your dad would be so awesome. I'd rather he be my boyfriend. But, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm going to keep going here. This is gorgeous. It's very, like, metallic burgundy with, like, a black base. That is really nice. Very, very vampy. This is a perfect shade name. Vamp. I love it. Oh, that is beautiful. So now, I think that's good for now. I'm going to go into Red Knight and put that right next to it. Look at that. It's got that really cool, like, almost like gold, like orangey gold uh, shift to it. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely stunning. I put a little bit too much on my finger, so it's kind of falling out on my face. But that's not the shade's fault. It's mine. I just put a little bit too much on my finger. Oh, my gosh. That is so pretty. <sighs> 
just need a moment of silence to just revel in how beautiful the shade is. Holy cow. And it was a struggle for me not to use Noni again in this look. I, I will probably use Noni again in one of the four looks I'm putting together because well, it's my shade and I love it so much. But I wanted to do something a little bit different today. That is absolutely freaking amazing. So now for Purple Rain, I'm going to put that towards the front. Spray this just a little bit. And I'll pull my lid over a little bit because my, oh yes. Oh my God. Yeah, this is absolutely breathtaking. I knew it would be. It's like, you know, that lavender color, but it's got like some blue in it. And that looks really cool next to that red light, red, red light, red nightshade. I wasn't sure because I thought the tones are pretty different, but you know, it's really fun to take shades that you may not think are going to go together and then put them together and have them just work. You know, it's so awesome. I just love that. And I've done that a lot in my life. <laughs> Or I grabbed a shade and I was like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. And it worked out really well, you know? I mean, I have, of course, created looks that I wasn't super thrilled with. Uh, you know, of course, I think we all have. But, um, I don't know, I think the more you have experience with makeup, not that I have a ton, because I really don't. I mean, there's people on this platform that have been using makeup for probably longer than I've been alive. But, um, you know... I do have a little bit more experience now than I did when I first started. And so I have, I think, maybe a little bit more confidence in myself in choosing shades to go together. Not always, but sometimes. And so when it works out, it's just really fun to do something different and have it work. You know? I love that. Okay, I'm going to keep going back into the shade just a little bit because I'm going to bring this up just a skosh because I kind of left it a little too low, I would say. I'm just going to bring it up into that purple matte shade just a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that is so much fun. The shifts in this. <laughs> Amazing. So I'm going to go back into Purple Rain with my finger. And I am going to just put it right here. And I know like with Duo Chrome Multicrums, I've mentioned this before. I, I really don't like to like smash them all together on my lids. I, I've seen people do that, which, you know, everyone can do whatever they want here. But when I see people like layering multi-chromes on top of each other or mushing them all together, I'm like, you're you're losing the beauty of them though, kind of, because they're just, you know, they're like too jumbled up. So I do try to le let them have their own space on my lid if I can, you know, not just all over the place. I'm going to go back into rock and just oops, add a little bit of that back right there. I have like my brushes... Uh, laid out in this cute little tray here that Andy from Andy Does Stuff got me. Those trays have been worth their weight in gold, okay? They're so wonderful. Uh, but I keep plopping my palette on top of the brushes and it's making a bunch of noise. Be a little noisy today. I just want to press that, not like go too bonkers with it. And this I'm going to clean off this brush just a little bit so I don't really need any more extra shadow. And just kind of, you know, make sure that that edge of that black mat is nicely blended out if I can. Oh, and I did my daughter's makeup with this palette uh, when we went down to visit her last weekend. Um, I don't do other people's makeup, ever. <laughs> that was the first time I'd ever done anyone else's makeup that I can really remember. I mean, I probably did someone's eyeshadow like in middle school or something. But uh, I was really nervous to do her makeup because I was like, <laughs> and I did a color combination that she's not used to, you know. And uh, she loved it. It turned out really good. I mean, you know. It could have been better, but it wasn't horrible. I mean, she she loved it, so that's all that mattered to me. I think I am pretty much done. I do think I might need to blend just a little bit more right there. I get a little obsessive about that. But yeah, I love this. This is so fun. So of course, I'll go off camera, do everything else. I will come back. This is the finished look, and I love how this look came together. Absolutely love the eyeshadow palette. I know technically I've only used it twice. I don't care. I love it. It's so good. I cannot wait to continue to create looks for this video and beyond. I'm going to show you the palette again, talk to you about the shades that I use before I move on to look number two. But let me show you just a few things I put on my face for my finished look today. On my lips, I used a metallic lipstick from Beauty Moon Cosmetics, and this is an 04, very uh, multi-chrome lipstick, very metallic, super fun to use. It feels really nice on the lips. 
I will put a link to this brand's website in my description box. It's a UK indie brand that I'm just a huge fan of and encourage you guys to check out and see if you might be a huge fan of too, if you haven't yet already. And then in my lower water lines, I used a ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade. What is this? Prance. I just thought the bluey purple would look really nice with what was going on on my eyelids today, especially with that purple rain shade towards the front of my lids. And then for my upper lid liner, I did use the uh, Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Felt Tip Liner in Ultra Black. I love this. Super cheap. Works great. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then for my mascara, I did grab the Catchy Eyes from Gosh Cosmetics again. This is back in the rotation, and I'm loving it. Uh, Makeup by PW sent this to me, and I treasure this mascara. So now let's talk briefly about this palette before I move on to look number two. What beautiful shades I put together today. And I did use this shade here called October Sco Scorpios. October Scorpios in my inner corners. And it's just this really beautiful multi-chrome shade that flips from like pink, purple, blue. Really fun. I always have cat hair flying around in here. And I vacuumed and dusted the crap out of this room like what? Well, a little over a week ago. I got it really clean, but there's still cat hair flying around. So much fun. Oh, I'm really trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my second, third, and fourth looks, but I'll get there. But uh, let's just quit farting around and move on to look number two. So I am back with another look using the Steph's Pear Palette from Saints Angel Sinners in collaboration with Not Your Basic Steph. And in today's look, I really want to show off at least one of these multi-chrome shades. So I think what I'll do is use Noni in my transition area. I'm going to pop center across the entire mobile lid. And then I'm going to top this shade with this shade right here called Destination Paradise. It's kind of this like greeny goldy beautifulness and I really just want to dig right into that shadow today. So that's what I'm going to do. So I do have my brows done. This eyelid is primed of course in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01. I'm going to start off with Noni, putting that in my transition area. And of course Noni is uh, my shade that I got to choose which was really fun. <laughs> and I, you know what, Wesley may never call me Noni. Who knows? I, we want him to. We really want him to call me Noni. But he may decide not to do that. My kids called my mom Mimi and they call my dad Poppy. But, uh, I, you know, my daughter kind of wanted me to have my own special grandma name. And I don't even remember where Noni came from. I used to call my mom Nani just as a joke. And I kind of thought maybe that that's what Sydney would want uh, her kids to call me was Nani. And that's what Jan goes by, Jan Van. I love that. But I don't know, Sydney just said I like Noni. And I said, okay, well, that's fine with me. Uh, there's lots of worse things I've been called in my life. So Noni is, is great, you know, but who knows? He may not want to call me that. My mom wanted my kids to call her Grammy and Sydney couldn't say Grammy, but she could say obviously Mimi. So that's how that came about. But yeah, this is such a beautiful, vibrant green mat. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And, uh, I just want to roll around in it. <laughs> Good. And I need to get some more information from Steph about the shade names. I, I, I mean, as she was planning this palette out, I was, you know, listening to a lot of the shade names and, and why they were named the way they were and all that sort of thing. But I just, my brain just, just not, does not lock things down anymore. That's the one bummer part for me with aging is that, I don't know, my brain just does not hold on to stuff like it used to. I used to be called Steel Trap. People used to joke around and call me that because I could remember if you told me something, no matter how like not important it was, I would remember it. And I have freaked people out like the whole names thing. I remember everyone's names, but even that is not the greatest with me anymore. So I don't know. I used to be a wealth of useless knowledge, my mom used to say, because uh, she, you know, she's a teacher. And there was a lot of factual information that my mom could just rattle off. Boot a bit of dates and times of wars and this and that and the other thing. And I could never do that. And she's like, but if you ask, uh, ask you what someone's name is from 30 years ago, you're going to remember that. I'm like, yeah. So now I'm going to go into Cinna and put that across the lid. It's hard to figure out what to do with this palette. Not because only because there's so many things I want to do. And so I sat here this morning like going, okay, what, what, what? Ah, you know, there's just a lot of different color combinations I'd like to try. And just, you know, I want to use all the shades in here. So, I mean, of course, I'm probably not going to use all the shades uh, for this video, the four looks video, but I want to continue to create multiple looks videos with this palette, of course. 
So, but I, I do want to go back to my Nomad palettes and finish doing uh, multiple looks or yeah, multiple looks with those too. I think the next Nomad palette I'm going to use is the Royal Europe. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, that is such a beautiful palette. And I kind of, uh, well, I was not kind of, I was really irritated with myself that I didn't get the Haunted Europe palette because that is so gorgeous. I have no idea why I didn't get that palette. It's no longer available. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just thought, well, I don't need that. But when I see videos of people using it or creating looks on Instagram with that palette, I'm like, why in the hell did I not get that? I don't know. It just, I guess I just didn't think I needed it. I didn't, I don't mean, who needs an eyeshadow palette, right? Nobody. But I really, I did want it. I just felt like, meh. I have those shades elsewhere. And I do, I'm sure. I can't remember exactly what shades are in that palette, but... I probably could dupe it, but not necessarily because Nomad has some very special shades. You know, they really do. Anyway, this is really working very well. The Saints Angel Centers formula, I know I've said this so many times, is so good. Oh, so good. And I will say uh, so far with my experience with this palette uh, and also this uh, sample shades that Darcy sent me, I would say that this is her best formulated palette. Absolutely. And the fact that it belongs to my sister is wonderful. I'm so proud of her and so happy for her. You know, I just am. It's so wonderful to just see this whole thing come to fruition is wonderful. I'm going to go back in with this brush, nothing additional on it, and just really blend that edge of that center shade out a little bit so it's not quite so harsh looking. I want to have a nice gradient if I can do that. I may not be able to do that, but I'm gonna try. So now I'm gonna go into Destination Paradise and put that across the green shade, the center shade. I'm gonna try a brush first and see how this goes. Uh, but this is pretty flaky. Hmm. These are like really pretty like multi-chrome little flaky things that, that come off the, the pan, but I don't know. I don't know, I might just, I, I know your people say don't spray multi-chromes, but I just want this to stay where I put it so. Oh my gosh. And it is flaking on my face, but I don't care about that at all. Oh my gosh. Look at how gorgeous this shade is, you guys. Look at that. I'm just going kind of slow just to keep the flakes from traveling up too hard, too far hard. <laughs> but it's they're going to because I have hooded eyes. But I'm just trying at first to keep it kind of contained just to the mobile lid here. I mean, look at that. And what's really fun is that, you know, with these different matte shades, you can create a lot of different looks with the same multi-chrome because it looks completely different over the top of different bases, which is really fun. I love it. That could be something else I could do too with this palette is like an eye swatching with different bases. Although that's not fun for me. It really isn't because my eyelids, what I need to do is I need to get like a balm to help take the, and I have like those microfiber towels. I think that would work better, like to take the, you know, in between trying out different bases and the multi-chromes. It would be a lot easier for me to, uh, easier for my eyelids to take it off that way than use a wipe, because the wipes can be so harsh, you know? They just can be. And I used to have this awesome makeup removing balm that I used for quite a while. And then I also got um, it's from Pons. It was this makeup removing balm that I got like TJ Maxx. And that was a really good one too. I'm trying to find that again at TJ Maxx. I've been there a couple times to look for it and they just don't, they're not carrying it right now. Um, and maybe that was just a one-time deal. I don't know, but this is such a beautiful multi-chrome shade and it looks so gorgeous over the top of that matte shade. Oh, that is so gorgeous. So I'm going to grab, I think the smaller brush here, just this little one here. And I'm going to go back into center and just kind of, just not very much. And just kind of go around the edge of the shimmer just to kind of make that look a little better, I guess. Or not better, because I think it looks really nice, but just, I don't know, maybe more defined. I, I don't know what the word is. I don't know. I just want to add a little bit more of that back. Let's just leave it at that, right? <clears throat> But you know, you can you can do a really easy quick look with shadows like this. And uh 
it looks amazing. You know what I mean? You don't have to have 43 shades on your lids. You can just use three and wow, it looks so beautiful. I love this. I love it. Uh, and I can see basically gold and green and like maybe even a little bit of like pinky too. That's beautiful. Okay, so let me, where's the brush? Here it is, this one. And I'm just gonna go back lightly around the edge of this and just make sure it's nicely blended if I can, if I can, and not blow the shimmer up all over the place. But it's gonna, it's gonna travel. It, it just does because my eyes are so hooded. They've gotten worse as I've gotten older. That is the one thing I will consider doing at some point, at really, is to have my eyelids lifted up a little bit with plastic surgery. You know, that's the only thing I think I would do. Really, I, I have thought about having my tummy done because uh, I have some pretty significant stretch marks on my lower abdomen area. And uh, it used to really bother me a lot. I used to be really upset about them. And now I'm just like, well, I had two kids. You know, they're my battle scars from being pregnant and having kids. So I've learned to accept those uh, a lot better than I used to, but I still don't really love them. Uh, and my mom had not one stretch mark, so I thought, oh, I'm not gonna have any. I don't know why I thought that, because I have enough for me and you and everyone else. I really like this, I love it. So what I'm gonna do is go off camera and do the rest of my goods and I'll come back. So this is finished look number two, and I love how this look turned out. And it was really fun to pull the palette out, just use three shades, put together a quick, beautiful look. Had so much fun with this. So of course I'll show you the palette again, and then I'll move on to look number three. But let me show you just a few things I put on my face for my finished look. On my lips, I used the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink in the shade 105 Golden. I did get a few things from Target uh, last weekend. And I will probably be doing like a mini haul video showing you guys the things I picked up from Target. I got a gift card for my in-laws for Christmas. And then I got a few other things uh, makeup related for Christmas as well. So I'll be doing that here soon. But I just, I, I have another one of these that, I don't know, the formula was getting kind of funky. And I, I just, but I liked it to begin with. I just let it sit in a drawer for too long. So I thought, well, I want to try another one and then use the crap out of this. So yeah, I really like it, love the shade, and I really like how it feels on my lips. And then for my lower water lines, I used a cream gel liner from Beauty Creations in the shade Shamrock. Of course, the green I thought would go well with the eye look, love these. And then for my upper lid liner, I did use, again, the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Waterproof Felt Tip Liner in Ultra Black, love it. And then I did use the Gosh Cosmetics Catchy Eyes Mascara, again, for my mascara, love it, obviously. No, Erica, you used your mascara for your blush. So now let's talk about the eyeshadow palette again. Steph's Pure Palette, ugh. The shades that I used, just as a recap, I used uh, Noni in my transition area and also on my lower lash lines. I used Sinner across the mobile lid and then also on the outside, well, kind of into the middle of my lower lash lines. And then I used this beautiful multi-chrome shade called Destination Paradise. This looks so lovely in different lights. I mean, it looks lovely in every light, but it's kind of the gold and then the green and there's like some peachy pinky stuff going on, so fun. And then I used uh, this shade right here called, called March Madness as my inner corner shade today. This shade I think will be coming in the next look because it is so beautiful. It's got these beautiful gold, light yellow. Okay, there's fuzz. Gold and light yellow and like light pink, shifty, sparkly stuff going on. <gasps> ha! I'm having so much fun with this palette and I cannot wait to create another look. So let's get going to look number three. Here we go with look three with the Steph's Pure Palette from Saints Angel Centers in collaboration with Not Your Basic Steph. Now... <laughs> I'm gonna have to pop up a little correction box in look one. Because this shade right here is not called Red Night, it's called Red Carpet. Now I have looked at these shades and the shade names a million times since I got this palette, since before I got this palette. I don't know what happens in my mind. Not a whole lot apparently. So yes, this is Red Carpet. All right, so in today's look, I'm gonna be using this mat here called Coco, and that's the name of Darcy's dog. And then I'm gonna use Tabo, and that is a snake of Steph's that passed away while they were putting this palette together. I'm also gonna use Pumpkin, which that is also another one of Steph's snakes, but it also represents the fact that both Darcy and Steph were born in October. 
And then I'm going to use Honey Bee, which this shade belongs to Marina, Make by Marina. This is her shade in the palette. It is gorgeous. Cannot wait to use it. I will link Marina's channel in my description box. Go and subscribe to her channel if you have not yet already. And then I'm also going to use March Madness, this beautiful, uh, I use that as my inner corner shade in my last look, but it's so beautiful. So I got to get it on my lid. And this just has to do with the fact that Darcy is a huge March Madness fan, you know, the college basketball tournament. And I've actually won a March Madness bracket contest before. So of course, both my brows are done and this eyelid is primed in the P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01. And I'm gonna start off by putting cocoa in my outer V into my creasy transition-y area there. Now, another thing too that I have noticed that some folks will do with palettes is, you know, like, they wanna show you how they put the brush in the pans, which that's fine. I mean, I've done that before too. But the thing is, is when you have shimmers, like especially these and these too, you know, any of the shimmers in here, oops, there's fuzz, uh, and you are holding the palette up like this and you put the brush into it, the chances of the shadows breaking and falling out are really high. So I, I just don't do that. I mean, you know, maybe you guys do want to see me how I apply the brush into the pan, but I also don't want to break my shadows. That that would be devastating to me. Uh, let me get these creases out here. So, yeah, I mean, gravity and the fact that the shadows are so tender, that will break the shadows. So you got to be careful, you know. And uh, it's really not the eyeshadow's fault. It's just the fact that they're tender. You got to be careful, you know. And... Uh, also, you know, sometimes shadows do break in the mail, which sucks. I mean, that does suck. Uh, but I've had palettes, uh, Darcy has sent me some palettes that she packaged so well and the shadows just broke. Cause I do think that the mail people sometimes are not real gentle with packages. I know Shawnee, I just watched her, uh, get ready with me and she did some news stories, which those are my favorite videos that she does. Well, I mean, I love all of her videos, but I, oh, those are so good. I told her you need to have your own talk show. I don't know why you don't. I wish I had some television connections. I'd get her on there in a heartbeat. But uh, she was talking about a new story where uh, this Amazon delivery person got a person's package stuck up in a tree. <laughs> like that just, you know, that just uh, highlights my, my feelings of the male folks just not being real careful with stuff. I'm like, how do you get a package up in a tree? <laughs> oh, if you guys have not yet gone and watched her news videos, you are really missing out because she is just so funny and so talented. And, oh, I live for those videos. As soon as I see one of those pop up, doesn't matter where I'm at, I instantly click on it. It might take me a while to watch it just because sometimes I'm at work or getting ready to film a video or whatever, but. Anywho, they're good, so go watch them. And that is gorgeous, and it applied beautifully. So now what I wanna do, I know it looks weird, but just hang in here with me, is I wanna take Tabo, and I wanna put it here, and then kinda of go up and around that shade with it. And I just thought that the combination of shimmers I'm gonna use would look really cool with these mattes. I don't know, it may not, but I think it will. I mean, I think anything that you could possibly do with this palette would look amazing, really. And then uh, in the fourth look, I think I'll use the black matte, and then um, pop one of those multi-chrome shimmers over the top of that just to see what that looks like. That's going to be really fun. Really, really fun. And I'm just kind of, I don't know, smushing this around the edge of the, I need some more shadow, uh, smushing this around the edge of the cocoa shade. And it's going to kind of probably get a little orangey, and that's okay. I don't mind that at all. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, you know, because once yellow and red mix together, it gets a little orangey. But this is like a pretty, well, it's kind of a more of a brownish yellow. Really like a spiced mustard shade. Like, uh, what is that? Grey Poupon. Do you guys remember those Grey Poupon commercials? I can't remember exactly what they'd say, but something like, I'll have mine with Grey Poupon. And then, of course, you know, when we were little, Poupon. I mean, <laughs> Poupon who? You? Me? We had to do all that stupid stuff. Oh, my husband is notorious for doing things like that. Even at his age, at almost 50 years old, he is so funny. He will change song lyrics, um, all kinds of different phrases to be like dirty or funny. You know, it's just, it's hilarious. He cracks me up all the time. He has made me laugh so hard that I thought I was going to vomit. So now for the shimmers. Woo! 
I'm gonna go into pumpkin first and put that right here. And then I'm gonna put honeybee kind of in the middle and then March Madness towards the front, yes. My dad will be coming home from the hospital today. And uh, I have mixed feelings about that. I might need to, you know what? I think I'm just gonna use my finger for this. This is kind of a, I don't know, smushier shade. It's very metallic. Uh, and it just wasn't applying that great to a brush. So I think, oh yeah, that's great. Finger application is wonderful. And you can use like a sponge tip applicator if you're not into putting your fingers in your eyeshadows. Um, but I just, you know, I have a little towel here. I just wipe my finger off, so it's fine. Um, I don't know, I, I have mixed feelings about my dad coming home because he's very stubborn. I have a little bit of fallout down here, whatever, I'll clean that off. Um, and doesn't always do what he's told. And so that makes me nervous. And I work full time. And so I'm gonna try it again with a brush here just a little bit. I work full time. And so um, I don't know how it's gonna be. We'll see. Uh, he does have a sister and her husband, I think are gonna come down and maybe spend a couple days with them. That's kind of what we're thinking. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But I, I think my dad told her not to come. And I'm like, don't listen to him. You need to come because he needs to have somebody there with him, I think, just to kind of keep an eye on him. And we're gonna make arrangements for that. We're gonna make arrangements for possibly like a home care nurse or something like that to be around him so that he's not left to his own devices and not doing what he's supposed to do. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go into Honey Bee and put that right in the middle. And I think I'll just clean this brush off and go into it with this brush. Oh yeah, this is adhering very nicely to the brush. This, this shade right here is just, I don't know, it's kind of like a smush, it's really nice, really smushy metallic shade. And sometimes those don't always adhere real well to a brush. Um, and I do have sponge tip applicators here, but I, I don't have any problem putting my finger in my makeup, that's fine. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, that is so pretty. That is gorgeous. I just kind of wanted to mix it up just a little bit with this honeybee shade in the center. I just thought that would be kind of fun just to add kind of a, I don't know, different pop of color to the look. And I really like how honeybee and pumpkin look together. Like I swatched them on my finger side by side before I sat down to film and I thought, ooh, because I thought about maybe using one of the green shades, like the Phoenix or Nirvana shade with this instead. But I don't know, I just thought this would look really cool and I'm really happy with how it looks, it's very nice. So now I'm gonna go into March Madness and put that down towards the front. And I think I'm gonna find a smaller brush to do that. I'm gonna use this little teeny one right here. And this shade is so beautiful. It is a little bit on the flaky side, so I'm just gonna try to pick up a couple of the flakes on my brush like this, and I'll spray it a little bit, just so that it doesn't fly everywhere. And now I'm gonna, oops, almost knocked it out of my hands. That would have been good. Oh, yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. And it does kind of have a little bit of that honeybee shade in it, like the reflex, I have kind of like that purpley pinkness going on. Oh yeah, this is stunning. Stunning. And it's just a really beautiful, like gold and pink, purpley pink mixed shimmer shade. You know, it's very sparkly and it's stunning. When I used it in my inner corner yesterday, I thought, you gotta get this on your lid, lady, real soon because it needs to be there. Definitely does. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And, you know, there's, you know, a few different, I would say there's a few different types of formulations of the shimmers in this palette, which is really cool. Like, you know, you have like the, the smushy one, like pumpkin, and then kind of like the more flaky ones, like the one I'm applying right now, March Madness, and then Honey Bee. Uh, I would say, I mean, it's a little flaky and kind of smushy, kind of maybe a combination of the two. I'm gonna go into Honey Bee now, just with my finger here, and apply this right here just to make that, because I kind of swallowed it up a little bit. Um, So yeah, you know, you have, some different formulations of sh of shimmers in here, which I think is really cool. And now I think I will take, what brush was it? This one right here, this one, and put a little bit of Tybo or Tabo. I always wanna say Tybo. Do you guys remember Tybo, the boxing, uh, was it Tai Chi and boxing mixed together? With it, Billy Banks did. So that's, I keep hearing that in my head, but it's not how you pronounce it, it's Tabo and then go around the edge of this and just make sure it's nicely blended. And then I think I'm pretty much done. That was pretty easy. Pretty easy look to put together. You know what? 
I think I am going to take the pumpkin shade all the way out to here. I just, I don't know. I just think that would look nicer because that, well, maybe not. I, I'm just going to do it because I feel like that shimmer edge is just not looking as nice as I would like for it to. And uh, I really do like to have a shimmery lid. You know, it's fun. And that way that pumpkin shade really stands out too, I think, you know? Yeah, I like that. Actually, I'm going to go back in with my finger. And just plop that right there. Yeah. Wonderful. There we go. Yeah, it works a lot better with a finger. I like that. Yes, that is gorgeous. I think I'm pretty much done. I have a very shimmery lid and I love it. Uh, I'm going to go clean this up, do the other eye face, you know, all the stuff. I'll be back. This is finished look number three. And I love how this look turned out. It's maybe a little bit more fiery than I thought it was going to be, which I don't know why I didn't think it was going to be because the burgundy shade and the mustardy yellow shade mixed together is going to be orangey and fiery looking but I just love how all the shades performed in this look today and I'll show you the palette again kind of recap the shades that I used but let me show you just a few things I threw on my face for my finished look on my lips I used a liquid lipstick from Handayan and I received this in some PR from Timu I have no idea what the shade name is but I just thought this color would look really nice with my eye look and this is a really nice very affordable liquid lipstick. It is maybe a little bit drying looking, uh, but it feels nice on my lips and it'll stay on my lips all day long. And then for my lower water lines, I use the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Wear Liner Stick in Gold Plated. I just thought this gold would look nice with my eyeshadow shades today. And then for my upper lid liner, I use the Fatal Beauty Black Like My Soul Felt Tip Liner in Black. Love this. And then again for my mascara, I am still using the catchy eyes from Gosh Cosmetics. Now let's talk about the shades that I used out of the Steph's Pure palette for this look today. <gasps> I did use this shade right here called Syracuse Bee Ball in my inner corners. This is a beautiful like fluorescent flippy orange multi-chrome shade and Syracuse Bee Ball is uh, Darcy's favorite basketball team because she is from New York and I'm clearly not from New York but I love to try to sound like I am. Uh, good luck. The three shimmers that I used for my look today, uh, March Madness, Pumpkin, and Honey Bee. Absolutely gorgeous. Now on this lid, I did find a smaller, I think I put it in my tub to be washed, a smaller, a little bit fluffier brush to apply this on my lid and it worked really well. I just had the wrong brush uh, initially, but it worked really well with my fingers. That worked really well. Honey Bee is so beautiful. Just a very soft, purpley, beautiful shade. And then March Madness is very dynamic and has got a lot of fun, flippy stuff going on in there. And then the two mattes that I used on my lid, oh, also on my lower lash lines, Coco and Taibo, or Taibo. Why can't I say that right? Taibo, absolutely gorgeous, very pigmented and blended well. And then I did pop a little bit of rock on my lower lash lines too, because I knew this shade would make me look kind of sick and just loved it. Love this palette. I cannot wait to create the fourth and final look for this video. So let's get on to look number four. So the fourth and final look with Steph's Pure Palette from Saints Angel Centers in collaboration with Not Your Basic Steph. And I, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna do today and it's gonna look really weird for quite a while. So just hang, hang in here with me. But what I wanna do is I wanna use again one of these beautiful multi-chrome shimmer shades on top of one of the mattes. And what I've decided I'm gonna do is put Saint in my transition area, put Rock across the mobile lid. That's where it's gonna look really bizarre. And then I'm trying to decide if I wanna use Apley Beach or Butterfly over the top of Rock. Apley Beach is a beach uh, on the Isle of Wight where Steph is from and Butterfly is for her daughter Kira. So, I don't know yet for sure. And I, I want to use this one, October Scorpios. Um, I already used Destination Paradise. And B is beautiful too. That's for uh, Darcy's son. His name starts with B. So, yeah, let's just start off with Saint in the transition area. I do have both brows done and they look like distant cousins today. I don't know what happened with my brows, but they're not getting along. And then I do have this eyelid primed into P. Louise eyeshadow base in Rumor 01, which is almost gone. There's just a teeny tiny little bit, bitty bit of that left. And the cool thing is, is a little bit of that goes a very long way. So just for a little update, my dad is home from the hospital and he's actually doing really good. Well, I don't know if really good is exactly how I would describe how he's doing, but he's doing better than he was. So I, you know, I try to be very optimistic, but, uh, you know, it's just like I mentioned, I think I mentioned this. It's just really hard to watch your parents age. It's just, it's really hard. 
and uh, I don't know. I didn't really go through this with my mom, you know, because my mom passed very suddenly. And so to have this uh, kind of thing going on with my dad, it's just, you know, it's, it's a tricky, it's a tricky thing because I really want him to be able to maintain his independence. That's very important to him. And so it's very important to me. And uh, there's just, it's becoming more and more obvious as time goes on that and I think I've already talked about this, so I'm really not trying to repeat myself. But it's just obvious that, you know, there's there's some decisions that are going to need to be made in terms of, you know, my dad's care and uh, where he is and things like that. So, I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to sit and spend a lot of time talking about that because it's going to make me get upset. And I want this to be an uplifting video. Okay, so, yes, I'm loving this shade, Saint. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful lavender matte extremely pigmented and blending like a dream yes now let's go on into rock or on to rock into rock this beautiful black mat and it's very pigmented so i'm going to try to not just go a wall with this uh, but put it across the mobile lid and uh this video i think will probably be up on sunday this is friday today as i'm filming this um and I don't really have a ton of plans for the weekend. What are you guys doing this weekend? Are you guys doing anything fun? If you are, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. I did find out that my dear friend Jazz is starting a YouTube channel and it's The Buffet Witch, I think is the name of her uh, YouTube channel. And I'm gonna link her channel in my description box. I don't, I, I think she's just had like a couple like like trailer type videos, like announcing the fact that she's going to have a channel. So I don't know that she has like any full, I don't think she has any full length videos on her channel yet. And I'm not exactly sure, of course, what her plans are in terms of like length of videos and things like that. I have no idea, but I'm going to link her channel in my description box. So go check her out, show her some love, subscribe, uh, get ready because she creates such incredible looks on Instagram. And uh, she had announced, I think, well, I saw it this morning. I'm not sure if she did it last night or this morning, but she announced on Instagram that she was starting a YouTube channel. And I said how excited I was for her. And then I also said, it's about time in capital letters. Because like I said, she's just so talented. And then my friend Tracy, uh, her channel name is Lilith Luna. I will also link that in my description box. You guys, go show her a ton of love. She's just getting started on YouTube and she's just beautiful and creates beautiful makeup looks. And she also does like fashion type content too. Like I watched one of her uh, little videos where she's trying on uh, dresses and she has, you know, shorter videos, I would say, uh, you know, just a few minutes long, but really fun. And, uh, you know, just go show her some love. I really want to show my friends who are just getting started on YouTube a ton of love. And uh, I haven't really been able to give her, her channel as much love as I would like to because I've been dealing with my dad's stuff. But I'm hoping over the weekend I can go and catch up on the rest of her videos I haven't watched yet. And this looks really weird. I know it does. Just, again, bear with me because I'm going to cover that black shade up with a multi-chrome shimmer. So I'm just going to go back around this because it looks a little scary, scary. I don't know that I'm making it look any better right now. <laughs> but I'm just going to try to blend that black shade out just a little bit with the purple. So I wish all of you were here, right here with me, and could tell me exactly which multi-chrome shade to use. This has got like greenish in it. This has got more pink. This is like kind of a purpley blue, and this is like a, I don't know, lavender pink. I think, you know what? I'm just gonna go into Butterfly. I think that's gonna be really fun. And my niece, Kara, is so very important and special to me. So I wanna use her shade today. I think what I'll do is start off with Ooh, let me get this out of here without breaking anything. Start off with one of these flatter, like more sleek brushes, and we'll see how this goes. And if this does not work, then I'll, oh yeah, this is going to be gorgeous. It's got a really pretty like shell pink shift to it. And this is very, you know, flaky. Like, can I just get the flakes on the brush? I'm going to spray it a little bit just to keep it more condensed. And, oh, okay. absolutely gorgeous as I knew it would be. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, that's amazing. It's very deceiving because I thought it was going to be more pink and it's got this beautiful, that's pretty flaky. I'm getting some stuff on my face, but whatever. Uh, purpley blue flip to it. Holy crap, you guys. This is amazing. 
Oh, how fun is this? Oh, wow. I'm going to go in with my finger, actually, and really build this up as much as I can. Oh, man. It's gorgeous because it looks very pink in the pan, like, uh, well, like a lavender pink mix. And it's very purpley and blue on the lid. And see, this is such a great example of the fact that, like, you know, obviously this is a larger palette. But if you're in a hurry or you maybe just don't want to put a bunch of shades together, you can put three shades together. That's all I did here. And look at how fun that is, you know? So, yeah. For the people who think you have to wear 400 shades on your lid, I beg to differ. Because when you have really special multi-chrome shades, you really don't have to do that. And, you know, yeah, I could have put maybe two or three multi-chrome shimmers, but you don't need to. Why, why would you do that? You don't need to because you have all this beautifulness just in the one shade. I'm going to take this up as high as that black shade went or is going or whatever, uh, just to really make sure that the multi-chrome is nicely applied, if I can, if I can make it that way. <laughs> and also, uh, you know, just really get the maximum benefit of the black matte underneath the multi-chrome. Oh, that is so freaking gorgeous, you guys. Holy crap, I'm just losing my mind. This is so stunning. Um, I think I'll go in with this brush and go back into Saint. And just go around the edge here. Make sure I make that look a little bit prettier. Yeah, this is a much better brush for this. Okay, wonderful. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is so amazing, you guys. I don't think this palette is available anymore. Um, I know Shawnee was thinking about getting this palette and she reached out to Darcy and Darcy said, well, it's not available, but I, I do think Darcy's going to send Shawnee a palette. So that's cool. Really cool. Darcy is so generous. She really is. She has sent me so many beautiful eyeshadow palettes and other makeup products um, not even from St. Angel Centers, just other makeup products that she had that she gifted me. And, you know, it's really cool. Really, really cool. I love it about that about her. I love a lot of things about Darcy. She and I are good friends and she's a really neat person. And, uh, I know that she's kind of gotten a bad rap and, uh, I'm not even going to talk about that because I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I do. Uh, <clears throat> whether you agree with me or not, I don't really care, honestly, sorry, but she's my good friend and I, you know, I don't want to feed the negativity monsters that pop up here quite often on this platform, but I just love her. She's a really neat person and I'm really happy that she and I have connected and have formed a friendship and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see what else she's going to put out from her brand. This is such a beautiful shade. Oh, do I want to add anything? Mm. No, I do want to go clean this up, though, and, like, kind of straighten up the edge of that shade. So I'll do that off camera, my other eye, and the rest of my goods, and I will come back. This is finished look number four and the final look for this video. But, of course, I'll be creating a bajillion looks with this palette. I cannot wait to continue to play with it. I really do like how this look turned out. Out of the four looks that I created for this video, I don't know that I can pick a favorite. If you have a favorite of the four looks that I put together, let me know about that in the comment section. I'd love to know. Uh, of course, I'm going to show you the palette again and ooh and ah and ha ah over it. But let me show you just a few things I put on my face for this finished look. On my lips, I used a Cara Beauty Metal Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lawless. I've had these for a while. This doesn't work maybe as well as it used to, but I really do like the shade. I don't know that the shade is perfect for the eye look, but you know, whatever. Uh, but I really like the metallic finish of this liquid lipstick. It's really nice. And then for my upper lid liner, I used this purple felt tip liner from Novo. I got this in some PR from Timu. You can't see this very well from far away. You kind of have to get closer up to me to really see this liner, but I really like how it looks and I like how this performs. And then for my mascara, I used the Nobu lash from Nobu Caremetics. Again, I love it. And then for my lower water lines, I use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Amethyst Hour. I just thought the light purple would look nice with my eye look. So now let's talk about Steph's Pear Palette, Saints Angel Sinners in collaboration with my sister. And I loved every single shade that I used out of this palette for these this four looks video. And also the shades I used in my collab with Steph, because there's a few shades I used in that video 
uh, this shade here called Severus, this shade here called Poppy, and then this one here called uh, Simply the Best that I did not use for these four looks, but love them. Loved all the mattes that I used. Uh, I used all the mattes for these four looks. Beautifully pigmented, blendable, they're amazing. And then the shimmers that I used in this four looks video, I really enjoyed all of them. And I, I like the fact that there are different formulations in this palette in terms of the shimmers. Like for instance, this one is more smushy. Uh, it's kind of, you know, like you dip your finger in, it's like gonna really mush in. And it's very metallic, very metallic looking. And then you have a shimmer like this, uh, March Madness, that is very sparkly, has a lot of different colors of uh, different reflect colors, different colored reflex however you say that, in that shade. Honey Bee was so lovely, very soft and subtle and just beautiful purple. Uh, purple Rain was so beautiful and shifty and dynamic. Uh, red Carpet, not Red Night, <laughs> was absolutely amazing. Beautiful uh, duochrome shade. And then this row of multi-chrome shimmers down here, just mind-alteringly beautiful. Can't wait to dig into all of these because I didn't do that for this video. Uh, this butterfly shade really surprised me because when I look at it in the pan, it is kind of like a hot purpley pink reflect is what it looks like to me. But then on the lid over the top of the black base, it just really purple and blue and oh, so fun. I just think this is such an incredible palette. I'm so happy for Steph, so excited for Steph, so proud of Steph, you know, and to have something that I, I saw her put together, very, very big labor of love for her and for Darcy. And to now have this in my collection, I will keep this of course forever. And I'm gonna continue to create videos with it, create uh, you know more multiple looks videos with it. I'm sure Steph and I will probably collab with it again. Maybe do like a palette bingo, that'd be really fun. And if you have this palette, I would love to know what shades are your favorite so far and what uh, shades you like to put together so far to create a look with. I'd love to chat about that, get some more suggestions because you know, it's really fun to like talk about the things that we love about palettes that might be different from what someone else loves. And then we can just kind of give each other some fun ideas for future looks. I had so much fun putting these looks together for this video. And I know I've already said it. I'm going to say it probably 9,000 more times. I cannot wait to use it again. This has just been such a fabulous, wonderful, fun experience. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I will see you soon. Bye. Drop it.